Welcome back, Steve. Glad to see you're finally back on YouTube. I want to start off by saying, though, I never, ever thought you were abducted by aliens. I was positive you were bound and gagged in the trunk of some stranger's car. Glad to see you escaped. But anyways, you want video responses? I figured I'd finally get around to posting one. Get beyond my laziness. So, being the huge Red Wings fan I am, let's start about talking about the, fi about the finals. Now, I kind of sort of agree with you that Detroit dominated the first two games. And at the same time, I kind of sort of don't. Um, Detroit never really controlled the play in Pittsburgh's zone. They controlled the puck for most of the series so far, but they seem to have trouble transitioning from the neutral zone to the offensive zone. I, that's, I don't know. Pittsburgh seemed to have adapted to Detroit's hole, come up to the blue line, drop pass, skate it in. So they might have to tweak that a bit, but beyond that, yeah, Detroit has had the puck, I don't know, 99% of the series so far. And as for the con Smythe, if Pittsburgh wins, <clears throat> not going to happen, but let's assume it's possible, you got to give it to Sid or Gino. Right now, I would go with Malkin, just because he's been playing lights out the whole playoffs for once. Had a bit of a blip against Washington, but... Beyond that, he's done what he's needed to do. Sydney has been great, but for the most part, Zetterberg's been able to shut him down. And coming up in Game 4, I'm really interested to see if is going to be able to keep Crosby away from Zetterberg and Datsuk. He's And even at that, you get away from them, you still got Philpola or Helm on your butt. So, might not be the easiest of task. But, if Detroit wins... Really, who do you pick? Do you go with Osgood? Well, yeah, he's been good, but he hasn't been spectacular. Do you go with Zetterberg? Again, good, not spectacular. Datsuk's been hurt. Do we go with maybe Abdul Kadabur? I hope it sticks because that is catchy. Or do you go with the workhorse, Mr. Nicky Lidstrom? Can you just give it to the whole team? Because really, there's not one guy that stands out on Detroit who you could give the Conn Smythe Trophy to. In all honesty, when you think about it, Darren Helm, maybe? I should have thought about this a little more ahead of time, because this is actually really puzzling me. If I had to pick one guy from Detroit right now, if they won, I'd have to go with Hank Zetterberg. He's just, he just does everything so well. He puts up the numbers. He managed to su shut down Sidney Crosby, which is no easy feat. He managed to shut down Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane, Rick Nash, Ryan Getzlaff. Yeah, I think you got to give it to Zetterberg. But anyways, enough talk about the finals. There's a certain subject that hasn't been talked about enough on uh, my website or just the other general hockey talk forums. The draft. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, everyone's talking about Tavares, everyone's talking about Hedman. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the depth players beyond number one and two who could make a real impact in the league coming up because no one's talking about Evander Kane no one's talking about Nazem Kadri Braden Shen's being heavily talked about mainly because of Luke but we all know he's gonna end up in Toronto I don't care what anyone says Shen will be a leaf Brian Burke just likes the brothers connections next year the starting line for Detro uh, for Toronto will be Shen Sedin Sedin with Shen on the point and they don't need anyone else beyond that. But, uh, yeah, so, who goes third overall? Well, that's easy enough, Matt Duchesne. Now here's where it gets tricky, who goes fourth? Because uh, there's a lot of talk Jared Cowan might go pretty high, but he's been hurt for most of the last year, and not a lot of teams are going to want to take a risk on that. But what about Evander Kane? Do they go for the scoring, which I believe Atlanta has number four? If I'm not mistaken, do they even gamble and go Nazem Kadra with one of the Swedish guys? Because when I was reading my recent Hockey News Draft Preview Edition, I was just dumbfounded to see there were five or six highly ranked Swedes that no one's talking about. Paryavi, uh, Larsson, um, Runblad, Eriksson. The Swedes could be sleepers, but yeah, I'm really starting to ramble here. So, Steve, how do you think the draft should go? Does Tavares go number one, which I think he should. Hedman stays number two. Duchesne goes number three, according to plan. What happens after that? So let me know. And anyone beyond Steve, let me know too. Thanks.
Uh, just a quick little edit here. Um, I actually decided to do a mock draft on my site. Uh, if you've never heard of it, clissjar.com. Um, going to link it in the sidebar. So if you want to see how I think the top 10 draft sh picks in the draft should go, check it out. And if they're a little weird, I'm sleepy. Don't judge me.